What's up home theater fans? Todd with avnirvana.com and I just took delivery of two new subwoofers from SVS. This is the SB16 Ultra sub. It's a sealed sub with a 16 inch driver. RNL carriers, I dropped these off. Obviously this is a very heavy load. These almost weigh 300 pounds combined in their boxes. I think it's tipping the scales right around 290 probably over 300 with this pallet. Uh, once unboxed, each of these subs is pretty darn close to 120 pounds each. These are real heavy hitters. I actually have two of these in the front of my home theater room. Uh, you can read about those if you'd like. I'll drop a link down below. A couple years ago, I did a review of an entire Dolby Atmos system using SVS ultra speakers and of course these subs and it was phenomenal it's a great read so please check it out these subs are actually going to be going into the back of my home theater room replacing another brand that is uh, currently occupying that space and eventually they are going to flank uh, Ascendo's SMS G32, had to think for a second there, the SMS G32 infrasonic subwoofer. That's a 352 pound sub that plays down to seven hertz, but this is something that we're cooking up for our web show, Bass Hunters. Definitely something you're going to want to stick around for. Uh, just something to note about the packaging that you get from SVS. And this is, you know, is something that I've noted from them before. It always comes safely packed in boxes. Uh, this sub that I'm actually finishing up a review on now from a different company came in a box that wasn't nearly as robust and there was a poke through and a little damage was done to that sub. With SVS, you always get double boxing, which is nice. It gives you peace of mind. And of course, this company backs up everything they sell. Uh, the fantastic customer service and it's a really nice buying experience as a customer. If you go to their website, you'll see exactly what I mean. And I know that they are really helpful to folks that have questions. So just great all around folks at SVS. And I'm really psyched to be bringing in two more of these SB16s into my home theater room. So I need to get these down into my basement. I'm gonna be using that piece of heavy equipment over there. That's an Escalera stair climber that uh, I purchased from Flippin' Out Pinball. So if you want to get an Escalera, hit up Zach Minnie at Flippin' Out Pinball and he can hook you up with one. But let me get these disconnected. We'll get them down into the house and I think we'll get one of these guys out of the box so you can take a look at it. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Although you'll note right on the top of the box here, there's a caution sign that says team lift. It shows two people lifting. I would highly recommend being very careful if you try to move these around on your own. You gotta know what you're doing and know how to use your weight to compensate for the heavy weight of these boxes. Otherwise, you can end up hurting yourself, hurting the speaker. So. Let's get this guy unboxed. We'll take a peek at it. I'll show you uh, what the other two SB16s look like uh, in the front of my theater room. And then we'll call it a wrap. Okay, and actually, just found this inside. They tossed this in because we are doing 
AK HDMI cable reviews and uh, we're using equipment from Radio. It's their 8K Fox and Hound equipment. So we'll be able to read exactly what's going in and coming out of this cable, give you a really good assessment of how well it performs. Also be measuring a couple of other things. So if you're curious about SVS's SoundPath HDMI cables, make sure you hit subscribe, notifications, and these videos are gonna be coming really soon. Okay, so inside the box you get a, a manual, a little remote that you don't really need because you also have app control over the speaker if you so desire. Again, packaging that SVS gives its products is always excellent, uh, right on par with the best that you're gonna find in the industry. Uh, you know, they have a lot of fancy branding to catch your attention. And, uh, you know, they've done a really good job of rebranding their entire speaker line over the last few years. But it is a really nice customer experience uh, when you're unpacking something, especially something that you paid a lot of money for. Okay. All right, so there's outer plastic on this guy and then this kind of I wouldn't say it's super fancy cloth but it's very typical of what you find with audio products and there she is looking really nice this is the black oak finish which I personally prefer because it doesn't reflect light even though this is going in the back of my room so could have gone with the piano gloss black which has a really nice look you know when you see those in parts and they look super sharp but uh, my preference is to keep things as dull as possible these match what i have in the front of my room that's why i opted to go with this finish um, i happen to like this one a lot then of course there's also this metal grill that goes onto the front of the speaker That fits on just like that. So right here, you can see this really attractive driver. I love the fact that they print their company logo right smack dab in the center. Uh, but this is a very robust surround. Of course, right here, this lights up, tells you uh, speaker levels and uh, gives you an indication when the unit is on. You can control brightness of this. You can also tell it to turn off once it is powered on so it's not blinding you. If you have a darkened home theater room, it has a little control pad there, but this is also how you know what you're accessing when you're using the physical remote control. Of course, you don't need that when you have the app. And around back, this is a, uh, 1500 watt amp it's 5000 peak of course if uh, you're tapping that 5000 watts peak that is only for extraordinarily short periods of time uh, you have a variety of different connections you have your typical sub cable of course there are balanced inputs and outputs i prefer to use the balanced uh, myself that's uh, xlr cables uh, so that's how i'll be hooking this up in my own room on and off switch and of course that's where you plug in the power okay so let's take a quick peek here at uh, the two sb 16s that i already have installed in my room you can see right here they are flanked by golden air triton 1.rs uh, i ran ultra towers for years in here and loved them uh, just switch things up just a little bit just to just to have fun but uh, there's one right there and here is the other. I like to leave the grills on. Uh, they look really nice uh, and I do have it set up. So uh, once they power on and show you that they're on, the displays turn off. But these are hard hitting subs, sound fantastic. They can replicate just about anything you want, particularly, you know, really quick, hard hitting bass. No problem at all with that. Just really love them, obviously, uh, bringing in a couple more. So uh, 
how do you buy these? You go over to svs.com. That's how you do it. Uh, they, oh gosh, I know pricing is on the tip of my tongue. I know that you get a deal if you buy two. So that is a real advantage for customers. And if you're thinking about getting a subwoofer, you really should consider going with two or four. Uh, you just, you're going to benefit uh, with much more even response in your room when you do that. Um, of course, we have been using these subs for our Base Hunter episodes. Uh, those are shows where we take a closer look at bass in popular movies. Uh, we use spectrogram so you can see exactly what's happening in the film as I'm hearing it in my own home theater room. And uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. We have about 10 episodes out and a lot more content coming. So please check that out and uh, head on over to avnirvana.com. If you are an SVS fan, you want to talk about your subs, start a thread there and let's chat. Look forward to seeing you all over there and we'll talk soon.